The late legend Pele is also known as the king of soccer all over the world. To put it simply, Pele was a wealthy tycoon who built a fortune over the course of his impressive career. But have you ever wondered what kind of lifestyle this soccer star enjoyed? Well, let's take a look at the lavish style of King Pele and also pay tribute to the legend. Born in the Brazilian town of Tres Corações in 1940, many people believe that Pele, whose real name was Edson Arantes do Nascimento, was the greatest soccer player ever. He came from modest beginnings and had a passion for football, but his career took off when he was given the chance to play for the professional Santos Football Club. His team's success under his leadership resulted in several titles and he became a household name. Pele was called up to the Brazilian national team, where he helped usher in the sport's golden age of Brazil and became the youngest athlete to ever win a World Cup at the age of only 23. The player's whole career was instrumental in Brazil, reaching an unprecedented feat of winning three World Cups solidifying the country's reputation as a soccer powerhouse. Pele set a record with 1,283 goals scored during his professional soccer career. It's no surprise that he has been named the greatest player in the world seven times, cementing his status as a legend in the sport. Properties Pele had a stellar career and made enough money to indulge in a lavish lifestyle. The soccer king had impeccable taste when it came to purchasing comfy and luxurious homes for himself and his family. In 1979, Pele bought a house of an acre of a property in New York Hamptons one of the most city's most affluent and exclusive areas where many other celebrities also have properties like Beyonce, Robert Downey Jr., and many more. The lakeside home was a lovely brown interior with plenty of windows, perfect for taking in the scenery. Upon entering the house, it is immediately apparent that the space is relatively large thanks to the double height ceiling and the kitchen's open layout. The home's total living space is over 3,400 square feet and its six bedrooms each have a balcony with a great views and plenty of natural light. Furthermore, it features a swimming pool for use on hot summer days as in customary with summer homes. When Pele was a player for New York Cosmos in 1979, he purchased the property for around $156,000, which is almost $600,000 by today's standards. Even though he didn't ask for millions when he sold it, he still made a considerable profit. At the time of his death, Pele resided in a Brazilian villa in the posh Sao Paulo neighborhood of Jardim Acapulco, where fellow soccer star Neymar Jr. also has a home. In fact, during a few interviews, the ex-player showed off his house in the public. The living room, for instance, is enormous, brightly colored, and furnished with a pool table. However, the outside area is the talk of the town, with its enormous size and impressive swimming pool set in lush, verdant setting. In addition, there is a soccer field for when the retired athlete wishes to play a game of ball with his loved ones. There has yet to be any public discussion about the mansion's actual worth, but the average price of a home in the neighborhood is about $4 million. Famous Cars Pele has a history of being seen in flashy rides. At the beginning of his career, the ex-soccer player drove a Volkswagen Beetle, a car that did well in the marketplace when it was released. In its current condition, this piece of art may fetch upwards of $15,000 today. Another car that Pele owned was the Aerial Willys 2600. He was the first to get one of these vehicles as a prize for a championship win. This car, deemed extravagant when it was first introduced, can now be purchased for around $20,000 in most markets. For scoring 1,000 career goals, Pele was awarded 1969 Mercedes-Benz 250 as a prize, and this car is available now for about $25,000 and is regarded as a collectible by many. A Mercedes 28 OS, another exquisite and intimidating automobile for its day, was his next purchase a few years later. The six-cylinder engine in the car allows it to have a peak speed of 125 miles per hour and produce 156 horsepower. A well-maintained model of the car can fetch upwards of $30,000 today. A Mercedes 450 SL convertible, another expensive collector's item, has been seen in the star's garage. Watches If you looked at Pele, it was easy to see that he was a fan of dressing well. Among his many fine timepieces was a $30,000 stainless steel Rolex and a $70,000 yellow gold Rolex day date, both of which he wore often. He became an ambassador for Hublot, one of Switzerland's greatest luxury watchmakers. He was often seen wearing the company's most expensive pieces, such as the $6,000 Hublot Big Bang UEFA Euro, the $15,000 Hublot UEFA Champions League, and the $20,000 Hublot Big Bang Unico FIFA private jet. Pele also enjoyed using a private aircraft to all different parts of the globe. His arsenal includes the Bombarder Global 6001, one of the world's most cutting-edge planes with a range of over 7,000 miles. Even though it's a giant plane, it provides every comfort possible. It can comfortably seat 18 people, and its interior is spacious enough to make everyone feel at ease. And there's little question that a considerable cash investment is required to experience all of this luxury. The business that handles maintenance for Pele's hired plane says that the Brazilian soccer legend's average vacation might cost 75,000 euros or more, depending on where you go. 
Luxury items. Given Pele's status as the best football player, everything associated with him comes at a high price. The celebrity would auction off 2,000 of his personal possessions in the last decade. His 23,000 Santos jersey, $40,000 championship ring from New York Cosmos, $75,000 player of the century trophy, $105,000 1,000th gold soccer ball, 210,000 crown made in honor of his 1,000th goal, $450,000 winner medal from the 1970 World Cup, and a $550,000 replica of the Jules Rimmett trophy are just a few of the most notable items in his collection that were auctioned off. Almost $5 million was raised, making this most a significant sports auction ever. Pelé had pledged a sizable portion of that sum to one of Brazil's primary children's hospitals, so it's clear that the charitable donations will be well spent. Speedboat During his time as a soccer player, Pelé bought a speedboat and named her Kelly Cristina after his first daughter. The boat is over 33 feet long and can hold as many as four people. It is a vehicle brass, Missouri 22 type, and it was among the most well-known boats of its day. The boat's stainless steel frame and high-quality wood make it an excellent choice for recreational activities on the lake. This boat is now highly sought after by collectors. After being reconstructed, the ship became a focal point of the famous boat parade in Brazil. And although the boat's antiquity, the fact that it belonged to Pele increases its value substantially. Source of Income Although Pele has been gone from soccer for quite a long time, he continued to reap substantial financial rewards from other endeavors. He has become an international game icon as the sport's most outstanding player, and despite being well into his 80s, he maintained a sizable online following. If we take Facebook as an example, he has about 10 million followers and almost 11 million followers on Instagram. And obviously, all this exposure, along with his enormous activity in other soccer businesses, has netted him a lot of money, as many firms are interested in investing in him to link their goods with the player's image. Numerous companies have already committed to advertising with Pele, including Puma, Volkswagen, Honda, P&G, Mastercard, Coca-Cola, Louis Vuitton, Subway, Emirates, and Santander. Hublot is said to have invested $500,000 in advertising with him. Some reports claim that Pele was paid roughly $4 million to appear in the Netflix documentary. As a testament to Pele's stature and esteem, many of the world's most influential figures have paid tribute to him, including Barack Obama, Vladimir Putin, Bill Clinton, Nelson Mandela, Queen Elizabeth, and many more. Net Worth There is no question that Pele has amassed a considerable fortune throughout his career. He is widely regarded as the finest player in the game's history. To get a notion of values, consider that he was considered the most paid athlete in the world during the height of his soccer career. It was reported that his deal with the New York Cosmos was for roughly 2 million yearly, for a total of 6 million dollars over 3 years. However, although it is a lot of money, it pales compared to what the best soccer players in the world would earn right now. And contrary to popular belief, the football king earns much more money away from the field than he did during his playing days. Salary levels were naturally lower in the past, and Forbes reported that Pelé earned $50 million in 2015, most of which came from endorsement deals. Although the true extent of Pelé's riches is unknown, it was said to be worth approximately $100 million at the time of his passing. And while that's a lot of money, it's nothing compared to what Pelé could have made if his prime was in the modern era. It's estimated that Pelé's salary would be around $223 million annually, and his income would be so high that he'd be a billion dollar soccer player if he were playing today. That's all for today's video, and thanks for watching it. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And while you're here, click to watch one of these two videos on your screen right now. We will see you there.